Hey, this is Antonio. Welcome back to my channel, and we're going to have some fighting words. But before we go any further, you know what I'm going to say. I need for you to like this video, and also please subscribe to my channel. So in this video, I want to talk about Americon. Uh, so, word on the street is he he's going to retire after the, uh, the Cal Brook fight. Um, so I got this from an interview with Connor Ben, and they were asked, you know, what's next for you? What do you, what do you plan on, you know, what... In a perfect world, what would you um, what would you prefer in terms of a lineup, you know, for your next opponents? In which case, he said, "Well, I, you know, I would like the winner of Khan and Brooke." Um, that came out of his mouth like first, but then he said, "Well, you know, I had a conversation over the phone with Khan, and he's like, well, that's off the table,' and he's like, he told me he was going to retire, so he said that's off the table." But then he said. <laughs> He said, but he's, it's in uh, Brooks' contract for a rematch. There's a rematch clause. Say he loses. So he's like, I don't really know how that works out because you would still have another op fight obligation. Um, however, on the side of that, you still have Floyd Mayweather saying that he would like the winner of Khan and Brook. Now... Amir Khan has a boatload of money. So does he need another dime, another penny? Probably not. Would he take another dime, another penny? Probably so. Uh, and not to mention, who wouldn't want to go up against, you know, in this generation, the best that we've seen? Who wouldn't want to match yourself up against that guy? Now, is Floyd anything near what he once was? Absolutely not. And let's just be honest. Absolutely not. He's nowhere near what he what he once was. But can he still give a performance? Can he still rise to the occasion in terms of a you know a combat of a fight? Can he? I believe so. He just fought a two hundred pound man and didn't have a scratch on his face. So yeah, you're gonna make the argument that two hundred pound man didn't know how to throw a punch. But nonetheless, that's a two hundred pound man in his twenties fighting a guy who's like 150 pounds and probably didn't even make 150 easy. I bet the night of the fight, he was like 150 or like 148 or 49. And he's well over 40. What broke with brittle hands <laughs> and a busted up body from years of combat since he was a child. So, uh, you know, if I was Khan, I would favor my odds. If I was Khan, because Khan's younger, Khan has not been as active as Floyd. However, Khan, when active, is fighting real fighters. How about that? So, you know, what do I think about Khan retiring? I think that's an internal thing. And I think, you know, you as the fighter knows when it's time for you to go. Um, you know, you don't want to run anymore. You don't want to spar anymore. You don't want to go through a, a grueling training camp anymore. You know, you're in the ring and you're like, man, this is not fun. <laughs> That's when it's time to go. And I don't know what Khan is going through personally, you know, within himself. And I don't know what he's going through in, in his personal overall life, you know. But I know he has, I know he has children, you know, and, and I know he wants to live his life. And he's done this all his life. He's dedicated himself to the sport of boxing all his life. So if he were to walk away, he'd walk away an accomplished um, boxer. No doubt about that. And I do, you know, I, I believe a future Hall of Famer. No doubt about that. So I don't have any issues with Khan leaving. I, I just wonder if he's really leaving because look what you'd be leaving on the table. You would be leaving the biggest payday you've ever had with Floyd Mayweather. And an opportunity to say that I could possibly put his name on my resume as my last bout on my way out the door with the fattest check I've ever gotten. You know, like, come on, come on. And, and then when you think about it with the, in terms of this fight, there's only two places, well, really three, but the reality is only two places this fight could really take place. If you really want to maximize fighting Amir Khan, it needs to take place in the UK or Dubai. You know, if you really want to maximize, like it, it's not going to be Vegas for this one. It's going to be if you want to maximize and squeeze everything out of what this fight can potentially generate, 
you want to do it in the UK. Well, those guys, and one thing I can say about UK fans is they support their guy. They support him tooth and nail. They support him when he's when he's going into the ring, and they support him when he's walking out of the ring, whether he's walking out victorious or as the loser. They still support him. So it's either going to be in the UK or it's going to be Dubai, you know, because as we all know, Khan is Muslim. So he's got a huge fan base there. They love him there. I mean, either way, you can't lose, you know, whether it's here or there. You can't lose. And like I said, it's the biggest payday ever. Biggest payday ever. I get against this generation's best. And I know a lot of you are going to have an issue saying that, but I'm sorry. It is what it is. Look at the man's resume. Look who he's fought. Look who he's beat. So we don't even want to go there because I got all day for that. <laughs> but, but um, you know, if this is Khan's last hurrah, if this is his last fight, you know, it is what it is. Every Listen, everybody's going to have that day where they're going to have to look within themselves and say, you know what, this is it. You know, Sean Porter just did it. You know, and he said he knew well before that fight. He knew he knew well before the fight. He said he knew well into training camp. And he was like, this is, you know, this is going to be it. His father said he knew. You know, so, and, and maybe Kelbrook can, he, you know, depending, I don't know, you know, how his body is feeling. Maybe he's, you know, he's had some, some physical issues with his body because, you know, boxing does wear you down and tear you up. You know, I, I can personally attest to that. But um, he could also have a second wind. A lot of people do it. They'll, they'll retire. And after, you know, maybe a year or two, they'll be like, I feel great. You know, and, and I feel amazing. Let me come back. You know, and then, you know, they go to the gym. They spar a little bit. They realize they haven't lost much in terms of their step. And they're like, you know what? Then they end up, of course, you know, because we're you're fighters. So you watch a lot of fights. And you're like... Hmm, I think I can beat that guy. And then out of nowhere, that desire and that fire comes back. So I don't know if it's true. Um, and I don't let's say it is true. I don't know if it's permanent. All I can say is Khan has a lot of options right now. I mean, either way, like I said, apparently Cal Brook has a rematch clause and a contract. But on top of that, you have Floyd, Money Mayweather. And you have potentially the biggest grossing fight you'll ever make. And, you know, fighting this generation's best. Who doesn't want to take an opportunity to, to, you know, at least attempt to put that name on the resume? And like I said, to be honest with you, Kyle's got a good chance. If he, if he fought Floyd right now, he's got a good chance. Uh, listen, Nan's over. He's well into his 40s. It's not like you're going to be fighting Pretty Boy Floyd. And it's not like you're going to be fighting Money Mayweather. This new YouTube fighting Mayweather is high guard coming straight into battle. The reality is Floyd does not have what it takes for him to fight like Pretty Boy anymore. Pretty Boy was a dog and a beast. He was all offensive and like extremely fast. Like all combination Money Mayweather was extremely defensive and elusive. And, you know, he was like a single shot assassin. But he wasn't there to like, let's just let's just bang it out. This new Mayweather, he's slower. Um, and he's coming straight forward. Now, I don't know if he'll, he'll probably switch it up a little bit. But the question is, could he switch it up for 12 rounds? That's the question. And, you know... Yeah, Khan's chin is always questionable. And when you have somebody as precise and as accurate as Floyd Mayweather, it's not a question of can he, can he tap that chin. Yeah, he can tap the chin. He's going to find that chin. He could hit the chin. He's, he still has a lot of speed, actually, for his age. His age. He still has a lot of speed. Um, because of the YouTube fights, I don't know where his legs are because he doesn't use them anymore. So I don't really know where his legs are. But in terms of his hand speed, it's still there. Um, so who knows, who knows if this is let Khan's last fight, I can just tell you, I'll be watching it. I'll be supporting him. I'll, I mean, I love Khan and Brooks. So I don't want to make it seem like a one sided thing, but I'm just talking about Khan right now because he's the one who said he